hi everyone welcome to this channel again so let's continue from where we left off so i'm assuming that you probably mistakenly closed the excel sheet you were working on to modify this chart how do you get it back now and again that reminds me one other thing i forgot to mention in the previous video is the fact that when you click on this chart in some versions you would see a pop-up here and here you can select some of these options that you see up here so in my own version of office um, my version of word i don't see that pop-up here um, instead i have all those options here and if you also click on if you um, right click in this version and i'm not so sure of the previous versions but you can try that out but if if i right click on this chart i see options to do certain things and one thing i want to do now is to insert caption and what do i mean by caption so say for instance you want to and this is different from the title of your chart so in a document for instance you want to talk about this um, figure uh, maybe figure one figure two figure three you have that in your paper whatever whatever work you're doing how do you do that so here when i right click on this chart uh, there's an option here for insert caption i'll click on that insert caption and as you can see we have figure one but let's say that you don't want to use figure one Maybe you want to use fig one, for instance, you can create a new label here and call that fig. That's all you need. And you, you click OK. And once you've seen, you can see that it has changed from figure to fig. Another thing we can do here, of course, you can also delete the label that you created, as you can see here. So if I don't need that again, I can delete it. But where do I want to position this caption is it below the selected item is it above the selected item um, you can select that here based on what you're doing so once you've selected that you can also maybe you want to change the numbering format you can change it here so maybe instead of having this numbering you want to have the roman numerals or you want to have the alphabet you can also change them here and maybe i'm gonna leave it at this and say you want to include chapter number you can include the chapter number and, but then you can also say okay I want to separate the chapter number so it gives you here if you look at the examples here this is how it's going to be like table one and then dash a and you can also change other things so this is what it is and it tells me there's no chapter number so of course I don't even want the chapter in any case. I'm going to go back here. I, I don't want to include the chapter number. Okay. Once I'm done with that, I can then have whatever else I want to have here. So say figure one, um, comparison between the percentages of boys and girls. And so once I do that, I hit the OK button. And as you can see, I have fig one comparison between the percentages of boys and girls. And what more can we do here? You can change the, the, the font um, size. You can change the font. You can bold in it. And you can just make any edit um, you want to make to that. So one other thing I think I should show you here is what if we want to for instance remember the, the in one of the videos where we had this text um by the way this is called red i'm going to change that to automatic okay so in one of the videos and again it's bold i want to change it to all right so in one of the videos we talked about how to work with pictures right and it's the same thing so working with pictures and working with these charts is the same thing uh, you can't just move your charts anyhow 
So if, for instance, I move the chart here, you, you see it doesn't really give me what I want. I move it up here, I don't really get what I want. But there's a way I can do this. So if I right click, I can say I want to wrap the text. And I talked about the differences between square and tight the other time. So I'm going to choose square. And one more thing I would like to do is to resize this. But before I resize, you have to be careful with charts so that you don't distort the way the images look. And because if you do so, you might be giving a wrong impression in your chart. And so I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to right click here. And now just to let you know, right clicking on these columns, these uh, bars is different from right clicking outside. And as you can see, there are more options when I right click outside and it's a different option when I right click on this one. Just selecting a particular one is different from selecting um, other, selecting outside. So I'm going to select outside and what I want to do is to look at the, I want to, I'm not going to change the font. I'm okay with the data already. I have inserted caption and I have wrapped the text. But if you look at here under wrap text, we have some more options. So let me scroll up a bit. And if you look at this wrap text, we have more layout options. When you click more layout options, this, you see this pop up. If you select position, you can see we have absolute and all that. But what I want to do is actually the size. Now, once you select size so that you can retain your um, figure, you should lock the aspect ratio. When you lock the aspect ratio, you can then, all you just need to do is to edit one of these. You don't need to edit both of them. So for the height, let's say that I want the height to be three, but um, I want the width to be a little bit smaller than this. So let's say four. I want the width to be four. I hit enter. And as you can see, the width is four. And then the height also gets adjusted automatically for me. And so this is what you can do when working with um, charts. However, I don't know if you noticed it. This is no longer there. So what's the advice? The advice is ensure that you, once you're done with what you're doing, insert your caption. Um, so for instance, this figure one comparison. I ought to have copied that between boys and girls. And I hit the enter button. And as you can see, I see both of them together. However, I can also say I want to group them. So if I click this figure and I click this one, I click the figure and I hold down the command or the control on the keyboard, I can right click and say, I want to group them together. And so the advantage of grouping, and this of course you can do when you are done with your chart, the advantage of grouping now is that when I move this image now, as you can see, the figure also moves together with it. And so that's it for this video. And if there are other things you would like to know, uh, maybe not just charts, other things that are seemingly difficult for you um, in Microsoft Word. Just let me know. Or if you have any other um, suggestions for topics that you would like me to cover, um, please let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Bye.